which unfortunately, this happened about two weeks, three weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, extremely important event, and uh, which has really not been reported as yet. I can't understand why. I mean, there are enough journalists, uh, Canadian journalists and American journalists. And Saudi Arabia, when you were kind enough to mention uh, what I, you know, a little bit of what I was doing, what I have done, in 2005 of something six, King Abdullah invited me to be uh, one of the two members of a 20 member group to write the agenda for the future of the Muslim world. And this conference took place in Mecca. Therefore, symbolically, he had raised uh, the, this meeting. So, I mean, I've seen Saudi Arabia and you know two nations if ever two nations have been not only ideologically together but tremendous strategic partners after all look at what the Saudi Pakistani partnership has achieved if you look at it they fought together against the Soviet Union tremendous uh, partnership they've created Taliban never forget that only three nations recognize Taliban, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, and United uh, UAE. Iran did not recognize the Taliban. So we add, in any case, you can add to. Mm -hmm. And this strategic partnership for the first time has cracked under the pressure of the Fourth World War, which is the war on terror, because Saudis have handed over one of the principal accused of the Mumbai terrorist attack. A chap who worked with the Lashkar e Taiba, which is Hafiz Sayyid, who was in the control room directing. Abu Jundal, his name is, is actually, you know, he's defected from India and went there. And he has been handed over by the Saudis. It has shocked the, what might be called the underclass of terrorism, because they again had assumed in their mind that there would be safe sanctuary in Saudis. And the Saudis knew that handing over to India, you can imagine you've been, it was going to blow apart the Pakistan defense on, that they had no, nothing, no involvement. Because this chap is singing like all the birds of Vancouver put together. <laughs> <laughs> He's providing evidence of ISI involvement. It's all there, you know. I'm sure Dennis Headley. Friends, I mean, it is not that the Saudi-Pakistan relation is going to collapse. Not at all. I mean, they will remain the most important allies for each other. But even the Saudis are telling Pakistan, enough. But Washington can't find the ability to say so. Ottawa can't find the ability to say so. Which, which I, it puzzles me deeply. I, mean, I don't, uh, you know, I don't get emotional about these things. But it does puzzle me. Because where is your understanding of your self-interest? Riyadh has understood its self-interest. And for me, the Saudi king is not just the king of Saudi Arabia, he's the custodian of the two holy mosques and therefore has a standing in the Muslim world which is much broad, much larger than it's just control of one more nation. So why is this?